Welcome to this segment of Back in the Bobcats with Caleb Strange and Tam Spencer. Brought to you by Bubba's 33 and Roofmasters of Hallsville. We have uh, Guy Walker, James Bird here. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing good. Great, yourself? great. So you both are considered student athletic trainers, correct? Yes, sir. All right. So you're pretty much the people that are here behind the scenes back in the Bobcats, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. So let's kind of give us a little download. We're getting out of uh, football season, heading into we've had volleyball going, now basketball. So it kind of tell us a little bit of prep, what y'all do, what's expected of you on, let's say, a game night or a game day. So on game nights, everybody's expected to be on their A game, like timeouts, water bottles, like halftime, everything. So we just we have to be focused, no like goofing off on the side. We have to be watching out when they get hurt, turf burns, like all make sure guys have water, they're not catching cramps, that they're stretched, that they're just. See, that's a little bit of ignorance on my part. I wouldn't imagine hydration being a part of what y'all, you know, be responsible for. So would you also get the the water prepped and ready for the game? Is that or is that somebody else? We all do. We all do it. We have these okay. two huge fifty-gallon cows that we fill with ice and water. That we have, in addition to our Gatorade cooler that we have on our sidelines. Nice, Caleb. Tell us about some what you would do to prepare, like maybe equipment. Uh, yeah, I see. Like I was calling tackle boxes, but maybe like I don't know, first aid kits or something. What would that be? Um, so we have our smart cart, which has our AD tape, crutches, all of that. And uh, what we'll do is we load it up before the game, bring it over, set it up. And uh, we'll use that in preparation for the game, taping, doing this, that, and the other, and then getting ready for the games on Fridays. So what, what made y'all decide to be student athletic trainer? What, what interest in y'all? Um, or go ahead. <laughs> um, I, I more did it because I fell in love with football, but I still love the environment around football. So I more wanted to be able to be with them, and I kind of I liked the idea behind it. It was interesting. It was something to do. And I really started to fall in love with the program okay. through that. Um, I used to run track, and so when I didn't want to do that anymore, I still wanted to be involved like right. in the athletic um, environment. Um, and then during all like a track season, we had student trainers with us. So like seeing them and what they do, and seeing them during football, because I didn't attend many football games, and when I did, I mainly like looked and noticed them on the sideline. Because like you said, I didn't think that there was that much going in behind football and other sports so I was like I really like to get into that and to still be involved even though I'm not actually an athlete. So similar reasons mm -hmm. yeah. you both like the sports you like being around the sports not necessarily in the sport but supporting it yeah. and we got to have that I mean that's a very key part is uh, you know conditioning and you know rehab and all that I'm sure we'll get into that more with the other uh, athletic trainers but uh, we're Thank you. I know this in the, the uh, department really appreciates that. Um, let's talk about some grades and stuff, you know. How are the grades looking? Uh, they're looking pretty good right now. Not too bad. Not too bad. Physics C is kicking my butt a little bit, but that's all. It wouldn't mind, too. Yeah, they're looking good. Um, some classes are still challenging now that we're crunching down to Christmas, but we're trying to truck through it and get there. Tomorrow, sure. she's, she's top 10 in her class, top 10%. Well, 25. I understand. Top 10. 20. With top ten, I've talked to somebody about that. Top ten percent. Top ten. I can right just here. tell. I can tell she's top just, ten, she's top smart. fifteen, somewhere in there. Yes. Okay. So, what what is your hobbies outside of, of of student athletic trainer? Um, I work outside of athletic training. Um, other than that, I like to you know cook and go to the gym, like other things like that. Right. Right. Stay active. I got you. I got you. Um, Besides um, wearing an ugly sweatshirt, what do you like to do? Um, I like to watch the team on said ugly sweatshirt. Um, I'm in UIL, math, number sense, and accounting, and I do that a lot with my weekends. So, so, so you're good at math. That's your that Obviously, that's going to be your favorite subject. Yes, sir. Well, that's that's yes, cool. Sir. So, all right, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What's the worst part about your job? And it had, what is – whenever a, a, a football player or a volleyball player – they come over, they got a sprained ankle or a foot, and they take them shoes off. Does it hit you right in the face? The, yeah, the stink's not, gr uh, the stink's not great. <laughs> come on now. It depends on whose foot it is. Yeah. But, uh, depends on, no, because there's some, and it's, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. It's, uh, so, so you know it's coming before the <laughs> yeah, shoe comes yeah, off? Yeah, So what, yeah. Is the, what is the worst? What, what sport is the worst with the stinky feet? 
football. Yeah, football. Is it really? Or soccer. Fo- football. Fo- oh, soccer. 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 Soccer's pretty rough. Boy soccer. Boy soccer. Oh, hands down. Soccer. Constantly on the feet running. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Constantly. And mm, they nag and complain a lot. Babies. Like, wow. Like, and wow. I, I don't mean it in the nicest way possible. It's just. <laughs> so, I mean. <laughs> she <laughs> nags it. No, I don't mean I it at all. Babies. So, <laughs> when one goes down on the field, do we, do we, do we look and say, Oh, that's, that's a whiner right well, there. Well, yeah. And, so like, we, and we lollygag getting out there. Or we see like, that like, like, there's a, like, there's a twisted an- out there like, There's a twisted ankle, and they immediately say, I've torn my ACL. And that's, that's that, see, that's my thing, them diagnosing before anyone's over yes. there. Yes, they'll well, fall, I mean, and we'll see them fall. It's like they, they're like, oh, the trainers are watching. <laughs> and then we're looking at them, and we're like, just rub some dirt on it. And they're like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. So we're we like, got okay. the, LeBron, the LeBron flop. Yes, yeah. Wow. So at, at at that point, what is it diagnosed? We take extra ice to them, or or a Kleenex to uh, wipe their little, nose. As, co- as Coach B said, a little suck it up. That that'll usually oh, get there. Wow. Or usually, if it's really bad, we'll get them off of the field or uh-huh. the court and take them. And usually, they'll be like, "Oh no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. This is this is gonna with my playing time. I gotta go. I'm fine. I'm, I'm healed." So I'm healed. once they get off the off the court or the field, y'all y'all put them on a the, miracle. On the, so so we we're, we're getting close to the time being out, but. Has there been a situation y'all have had to deal with where it's been serious, though? Uh, yeah. Or something well, like we, that. Ha- we had one uh, in one of our um, scrimmages here in football. A kid went into full body cramps, and that was that oh. was pretty scary. But uh, other Did than that, nothing nothing horrendous, horrendous. But it was just a scary experience. But wow. it, was a, it was a learning experience. So after high school, I know we're way out of time. I don't care. I'm running the show. Go with it. My dad gum show. I do it what I want to do. Hey. After high school, what, 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 are you, what is your plan? Um, so I know this is a bit of 180, but I plan on becoming like a dermatologist and dealing with whole, dealing with like skin conditions and I things gotcha. like that because that's something that even though people's like skin is nasty, I, it's fascinating to me. Well, it beats Not feet, feet, right? It beats feet, right? I thought about being a podiatrist, but looking at teenagers' feet, I can imagine I like 67 year old Beth is like even worse. Who's had who hasn't walked in like that? How about you, Caleb? After school, what you looking at? <laughs> what you want to do? Um, I've got I've got two plans. I'm still deciding between. I'm either wanting to be an accountant at A and M or go into ministry and be a youth minister. That would be something wow. pretty big to me. I think that's on two different sides of the spectrum. Yeah. There, you understand that, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I know. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. Thank y'all for tuning in today. Caleb, Pam, we appreciate it. Guys, as always, it was a pleasure. Yes, sir. Thank you for Bubba's 33 of Longview and Roof Masters for sponsoring our show. Go Bobcats.